I was gonna make my famous strawberry cake, but it looks like I ate all of the strawberries. Sorry, Keen. Well, good thing I have a brand new strawberry plant. Oh, wow, you do. I've never seen a strawberry plant before. I didn't know there were so many parts. Yes, the tasty strawberry is just one part of the plant. It's called the fruit. I wonder, what are all of the other parts of a plant? Good question. Well, let's take a look. Let's start at the very bottom. The roots. Yes, the roots hold the plant to the ground. <coughs> the roots also suck up water and nutrients from the earth. If the roots are like the mouth taking stuff in, then the next part is like the body? Yes, it's called the stem. Stems hold up the leaves and the flowers. They also carry the food and water to every part of the plant. You can think about it like a highway, and the water goes up and down. And on the stem are some leaves. Leaves are very important. When the sun shines on leaves, the light mixes up with the air and water inside the plant to make food, so the whole plant will grow. This process of making food is called photosynthesis. At the end of the stem is a flower. Flowers are the part of a plant that create the fruit. Flowers are also important because they attract bees. Bees benefit plants by taking pollen from one plant to another, which helps plants grow their fruit. This is called pollination. I want the pretty flower! No, this one is mine! So when bees pollinate a flower, it can grow a fruit like our strawberry. Correct! And there are loads of different fruits, and many of them are quite delicious. Hump? Mm. Fruits are important because they are the parts of the plant that hold the seeds for starting new plants. Seeds grow into new plants with the right amount of sun, air and water. We need seeds to grow because that is how we will get more tasty fruit like strawberries. Now that we know about the parts of a plant, it makes eating these strawberries that much better. You could say that again. Cheers! <laughs> you can see your own plant highway by breaking the celery stalk in half. Tubes like these are in stems of every living plant and tree, carrying food and water to the rest of the plant. And you might find even more plants in your garden. Make sure you have the help of a parent or teacher. And remember, always keep wondering! Wow, look at this little restaurant in here. This is amazing. Uh, hello there, what's your name? Hey y'all, I'm Phil. Welcome to Chlorophyll's, your one-stop shop for plant food. Ooh, ooh, hello. Um, 